Hi, my name is Lowell Randall. I'm the Senior Vice President of Government and Legal Affairs for the Global Cold Chain Alliance. Uh, we are excited to be participating in the Central Asia Trade Forum. Uh, we uh, are a global trade association in the temperature controlled logistics space, and I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about the Global Cold Chain Alliance. So what I like to say is we're a family of trade associations. Uh, we've got four what we call core partners, the first of which is the International Association of Refrigerated Warehouses. These are the companies that operate uh, cold storage facilities globally. Uh, they store, handle, distribute any kind of perishable products, but primarily food. And then we have our World Food Logistics Organization, which is our research and education foundation. WFLO is uh, proud to be working in Central Asia on projects like this to help support the capacity building of the global cold chain um, in, in Central Asia and really around the globe. We do international development projects, develop training resources, uh, do research, and uh, do all of that through our WFLO Foundation. We're also involved in transportation. We have our International Refrigerated Transportation Association that works on all modes of transportation, be that uh, truck, rail, marine. Uh, transportation is such a critical link in that global cold chain, uh, starting really from that first mile to the last mile. <clears throat> and then finally, we have our Controlled Environment Building Association, which is uh, a, a, an association comprised of uh, construction companies that design and build any kind of facility that needs controlled environment. But in this case, many of them are cold storage facilities. Our membership is global. And I'm really proud to say that we have members in over 80 countries around the world. And those companies represent over 1,300 cold storage facilities. And that's 344 individual companies representing over five and a half billion cubic feet of temperature controlled space. And of course, we have a strong supplier associate membership as well over 350 of our associate members that help supply the industry. And again, our, our commitment to developing the cold chain globally is very strong and we're really pleased to be a part of this program. I'd be remiss if I didn't just briefly mention COVID-19. We have been working tirelessly to ensure that our members have the resources that they need to uh, respond to this pandemic. And many of these resources are freely available. So you don't have to be a member of the Global Cold Chain Alliance. You can access the resources such as our rapid response guide that includes industry best practices uh, on our GCCA website. I've put a couple of links in the slide here. We would encourage you to take a look, use these freely. We, we believe we're all in this together and by using best practices, we can all get through this pandemic. With that, I appreciate your attention. Global Cold Chain Alliance, again, is proud to be a part of this forum and we look forward to a successful event. Thank you.